What's up everyone, Final Feature GT here, and today we are playing some Mass Effect Xbox 360 on the Xbox One, and this is backwards compatible, another game that I'm doing. As you can see here, Perfect Dark Zero, you've probably seen the video already, I just posted. So let's start some motherfucking Mass Effect, everyone. Alright, so Mass Effect it is, let's see how the game plays. So this is gonna be a quick fast video. I think it took longer than Perfect Dark because I played through like the whole fucking level and shit. So we're gonna run through this bitch and see how it goes. And why the fuck is it taking long? Oh shit, there goes the Xbox 360 logo. You know what would be pretty awesome? If you could play your Xbox games on your Xbox One. And I don't mean like literally Xbox games. I'm talking about the first Xbox games first first ever I still have all my old Xbox games and I did see a previous comment on one of my uh, uh, backwards compatible videos about do your 360 collection well my 360 collection is pretty fucking huge but I will do one of the games that I currently have here at my home I still got to get all my other 360 games that are at my parents home and you know in-laws and stuff like that so I will get those soon but I think I'll do one on my collection that I currently have at the house that I've, you know, bought while I've been here. So, you know, here we go. Let's get this shit started, man. I'm gonna start fucking babbling and shit. Know what I'm talking about? My thing. Establishing secure connection confirmed. John Shepard. I'll stick with that. Oh shit. Let's call him John. Now, you know what? Fuck that. Let's do FFGT, man. Please log in to access your profile. So, uh, I am currently at 830 subscribers. When I hit, uh, 900, Identification. I will do a video where y'all can post questions, like a Q&A startup video. Y'all post all your questions in the comments below. And then, once I hit the thousand, I'll do a Q&A, 1000 Q&A for everyone, you know, so people can know me. And know more about me and ask me questions. Anything goes. I don't give a shit. Ask me whatever. So I will answer and I will respond. Well, what about so here we go. Let's see how this shit looks. But no record of his family. The er, a little Nash, mine. Learn to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die. I'm looking at the T right now. It looks kind of grainy, but you know it is 360 graphics. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. FFGT Shepherd in the building. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. So this is just the cutscenes, the movies. So you know what? Let's go ahead and skip that. Or I can just do commentary on this. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient Pacific civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed starting new technologies and they've been for stars. Bases of this incredible technology was forced to control various various space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it... Mass Effect. <laughs> so, that's what they call it. Mass Effect. Alright. You know what? Screw this. Let's play. Let's play. Oh, snaps. I just got into the thing. Well, anywho, if y'all guys are wondering how to get into this little uh, dashboard thingy, you have to hold your back button and your guide button at the same time. So, uh, whatever. Let's keep going. Initiating transmission sequence. It's doing the cutscenes right now and shit. We are connected. Commando Shepard. Oh, so far it looks good. I haven't seen no glitches, no messed up frame rates. The audio quality sounds great. I can't wait to play Mass Effect 2 and 3 on this. Those were like my favorite Mass Effects. Mass Effect 2 was really my most favorite game. For the Mass Effect series, of course. Oh, yeah. Commando Shepard. I'm also looking forward for Mass Effect Andromeda, Mass Effect 4, whatever. That game looks fucking sweet. Oh, the stars. It's time to warp. It's morphing time. Well, not really. Come on. Let's. Oh. Oh. What am I doing? Ah. 
Man, if these things existed in real life, it'd be pretty awesome. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. All right, so let's just see if we can get straight to the gameplay. All systems. Come on, let me get to the gameplay. Just under fifteen hundred k. Fifteen hundred is good. <gasps> it's not. Could it be? I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment, so you hate him. You remember to zip up. Besides, oh, wow. are trouble. WXM double O H T X, as you can see there. The council helped fund this. Yeah, that is. You always. <gasps> oh, what the fudge did I just do? An occupational hazard. But we don't I'm like spamming the buttons and shit to start some gameplay. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Is he upset? I heard you made him mad. I I'm heard. On my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. Yeah, do what you're supposed to do, dog. Leave me alone. Alright, so, you see the gameplay? Uh, so far, I guess since I'm playing on a 4K TV, hyped up, souped up, whatever, it looks kind of blurry. What do you think, Commander? But not bad. We're staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But... When I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. 
He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Yeah. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? 
I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Alright, finally some action. I was say, man, when are we gonna see some action? Oh, so this is the gameplay. Oh, snaps, what's that? Pull the left trigger to zoom, increase accuracy and damage. Huh, pretty cool. Liking the game so far. Well, I've always liked the game, but... Run, baby, run! Press and hold left on run. I already know that. Oh yeah, I got the Lancer. The Lancer, baby. Well, you know, introductory movie, some gameplay. Oh man, this looks serious. No, not my homie, baby. Got him. They killed my homie, man. Shields, you're at a chance. Sometimes Marines die. We can't help them, man. Let's just have to Sorry. We still have to find that beacon. I Let's get the fuck out of here. More baddies. You will gain meta gel and omni gel. All right. Oh, graphically wise, it still looks good for being an Xbox 360 game. It plays smooth and it runs smooth, which is awesome. So, uh, I'm really liking this backwards compatibility. Like I said before, Xbox really did hit a home run with this. So, my thoughts is Xbox One E3 hands down. They came out with a lot of shit that I really piqued my interest. Uh, the only one thing I'm kind of disappointed is that PlayStation has the exclusive for Street Fighter, and I'm a big Street Fighter fan. But oh well, fuck it in the bucket. So that's pretty much it with the video. So that's Mass Effect gameplay here. And who is this chick? Oh no, she's gonna get capped down, baby. Bang, 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 bang. Oh man, aliens. <gasps> oh god damn. That was some crazy shit, man. Who the fuck are these dudes? Alright, so let's go kill these guys. You killed my homie, baby. You killed my homie. You down, 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 down. Bye, bang. Thanks for your help, Commander. Good shit. Good, good shit. And I got me the jail. Well, anywho, uh. Are you wounded, Williams? Hopefully you like this video and part of the gameplay and part of the little storyline that movies and just the introductory part of the game. 
let's explore more on this. So let's see if we can go to the Xbox 360 dashboard. So here, let's do this. Alright. It says leave game, sign out, back and select. So it doesn't look like I can go to the dashboard. Uh, let's check achievements. Hmm. Well, you still get your achievements here. But anywho, any idea what kind of enemy we're hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm not gonna play through this whole game because uh, I really rather play Mass Effect Three or Two because those games were fun and awesome. This one was awesome too, but I preferred Part Two and Three. Might still be there. So, um, we need that comment, like, subscribe. Aye, aye, uh, if you want pre in the preview program, send me a message, Ooh, add me on Xbox, and I will add you. So, uh, this is Final Feature GT here. Please comment, like, subscribe. I am signing out, and I will see y'all guys and gals later. Adios.